On a summer day in July, when I was still quite young, my father took me to the track to watch the horses run. Our focus was the seventh race, the great match it was called. Between a colt and filly, the nation was enthralled. The colt was foolish pleasure, the derby he had won. Though he didn't claim the triple crown, was still ranked number one. The filly, she was perfect, she was tall and she was black. Some say she was the fastest horse to set foot on the track. Frank Whiteley trained the filly, Leroy Jolly had the colt. Jacinto was the jockey, the regular for both. He made his own decision, so here you must take note. When he had to choose between the two, the filly got his vote. Over 50,000 spectators crammed Belmont Park that day, while 18 million sat at home as the life he came their way. The tension was electric, the odds on told board spelled. Both thoroughbreds stood in the gate as the track announcer yelled. And they're on. On a warm evening down in Kentucky, in the spring of 72, a filly was born that would show the whole world that girls can be ruffians too that girls can be ruffians too both horses burst out from the gate as the starting bell had rang and the battle of the sexes as the race was built began Foolish got the early jump with Ruffian right there. For several hundred yards or so, they were the perfect pair. Still running in the backstretch, the filly inched ahead. She was the favorite in the race, the handicapper said. She had a half-length lead as they were heading for the turn. Both jockeys heard the snap. Jacinto pulled up by the wall. The colt now galloped off alone. An eerie silence cloaked the crowd. The filly had a broken bone. She was taken across the street. Vets had worked all through the night, but sometime early the next morn, the big black racer lost her life. On a hot afternoon up at Belmont, they buried her facing the line, where she showed the whole world that she had enough heart to finish in first every time, to finish in first every time. It's been several decades since the great match race was run, and if you ask the ones who know, she's still the fastest one. 
Her monuments stand silent there in the infield grass About the only thing that's left to watch the steeds run past The tracks grow slowly quiet, the racing crowd grows thin State lotteries and betting parlors did the whole sport in I'm glad my father took me there to see the race that day Before the sport of kings just like the kings all fade